So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Thaisko Learnings and in this video we'll talk about inheritance in Kotlin. Now we have talked about class where you can have a class and we can also create object of it and then we have seen how to use constructors. So let's try to understand how to do inheritance here because again when you, when you are coming from Java background you know what is inheritance right and we also know that in Java uh, we, we cannot go for multiple inheritance. Again when you write a Kotlin code as well ultimately it will get converted into bytecode, right? So somewhere you have to follow the same rules. So the rules we have in Java, the same rules is applicable here as well. But then how to achieve uh, inheritance? So for that, let me get a class here and I will, I will call this class as human. We all are humans here, right? And this is our class, which is human. And now I want to have a method here. Let's say we all human think, right? So we say public, oh, what was that? So we'll say fun. And we'll say things since we can think, right? Okay, and then we will print. Uh, it is as so we'll say print Ellen, and we'll print every human thing, and they do real thinking, right? So this is real thinking. So humans think in real world, right? So whatever they think is real. But when it comes to a virtual world, we have we are aliens, right? We we don't think in real world. We always think in virtual world. So I mean, let's let's go with the normal class here. So if I create object of human here. And if I say the first human is, let's say, let's say we have, uh, we have uh, Mayank. Now that's my nephew name. So let's say uh, Mayank. And then if I say human. Okay. So if I'm creating an object of, my, uh, uh, I mean, human here, and then I can call thing, right? So Mayank is only three years old. What I don't know what he thinks in his life. But then let's say, if I say Mayank.think and if I run this code, uh, you can see we got the output as... Oh, what's that? It is the previous output. I was doing some experiment there. Okay, so let me just run this code and as you can see that it is printing real thinking. Now, so this is your normal class, right? Now what if I create one more class? Let's say if I create a class and let's say this is alien and now when you say alien, alien also humans, right? So initially we are, we, we all were uh, humans. And then once you get into this IT world and when you learn this programming stuff where you can create virtual, virtual softwares. So after learning all these things, you became an alien now. And you as an alien, you also have, I mean, you, you let's say if you don't have any properties here. And instead of getting object of human, if I say now, Mang, in fact, Mang is th three years old now. And let's say after after two years, when I when I teach him Java, of course, he will be an alien, right? And now if I say, Mayank, you are an alien now. And if I say, Mayank dot think. Now, of course, right? Uh, you can see there is an error. Now, Mayank cannot think because we don't have a method called as think in alien. So normally what we do in this case is we inherit, right? So what we do is we use a concept of inheritance. <coughs> now, what is inheritance? So we have a class alien, which will extend or what you say, inherit human. Now, if you're coming from Java background, we know that we use a uh, extends keyword there, but in, in, uh, in Kotlin, we use colon. Now again, uh, the same colon concept is there in C++ as well. So I will use uh, human. So this is how you extend or what you say, you inherit. And as you can see, uh, there's no error here, but then we got an error here itself. Now, what is the issue? The first issue is you have to use, uh, you have to call a primary constructor of of a human. That's how it works. I mean, whenever you inherit your, uh, I mean, your any class, you have to make sure that you use a constructor. But then still, we are getting an error. Now, why error? Because by default, inheritance should not be allowed. I mean, this this concept is there from a long time in in, in the programming world or the software development world that when you create a class, make sure that you make your class final. Uh, see, if you want to make it, if you want your class to be inherited by other classes, it, sh it should show your intention, right? Uh, so by default, even if you are working in Java, Java world, we should make our class final. Why you should allow anyone to ex extend your own class, right? It is your features. So when you, when you work on real project, you normally make sure that whatever class you create, you put a final in front of them. So we can stop inheritance with the help of final keyword. Right, so that's what we we should do in Java. Now Kotlin says when you know that all the class should be final by default, if you want anyone else to extend your class, it should show your intention. I mean, it, it should be from your side. By default, all the classes in Kotlin are final, even if you don't mention that. As you can see, I'm, I have not mentioned anything called as final here. By default, everything is final. I mean, all the classes are final in Kotlin. 
and that's why you can see it is giving you an error it says this type is final so it cannot be inherited from now how can we solve that uh, do we have a we do, do we use a keyword called as non-final here <laughs> no right we don't have such keywords but we have one keyword which we can use and that keyword is called as open now what open means open means that you are allowing your class that it can be inherited by some other classes as well so if you if you know that you are going for inheritance just use open that means if you don't use open open by default it will be a final class which means you cannot you cannot extend that class or you cannot inherit that class so inheritance i mean if you want your class to be inherited it should show your intention and that's why we have to use open now that's compulsory and now if i say myang.think if i run this code uh, okay, we are waiting for the output and can you see that we got the output now that means even this is working <coughs> So that means your uh, Inheritance works in this way uh, Now what if I what if we have multiple inheritance? Let's say if I create one more class and if I this I will I, will, I take this class as uh, Maybe computers or maybe yeah, let's say let's say any class here doesn't matter and if I say human comma computer, let's see if it is working or not the moment you do that, you can see we are getting an error. It says only one class may appear in the super type list, which simply means that you cannot extend more than one class. So yes, you cannot go for multiple inheritance with classes in Kotlin as well. Okay, uh, because of course, right, when you convert, when you compile your Kotlin code, it gets converted into Java and in Java, it doesn't support multiple inheritance. Now, if you don't know what's the reason, what I would suggest you to go to uh, go to my channel and search for why multiple inheritance is not supported in Java. Uh, you will get an idea from that video. Okay, so we have class alien and we got human and everything is working here. So that means this is how we can use inheritance. So all this class, all the all the functions which are there in your super class will be will be a part of your subclass as well. Now we just have one issue. Now Mayank is an alien, right? Of course Mayank will not think in real world. So what I want is I want to say think. Fun, uh, fun thinking or think now you know right what I'm doing here I'm trying to override this method and I will print here uh, virtual thinking because of course we are programmers or we are IT professionals and we think in, in virtual world now the, the moment you do that you can see it is it is giving you an error it says think hides member of super type human and needs to override modifier okay so that means whenever you go for the method overriding it should show your intention that you are intentionally overriding it normally what happens you know let's say if you have a class and in that in that class you have multiple methods or functions and by mistake you are overriding one of the method which is very important and it may happen that you know by mistake you can do that so if you if your intention is not that just don't i mean just write override and it shows your intention that you are purpose, purposefully overriding a method. Okay. Now again, we got an error, right? Now, see, you might be thinking Java is much better, right? Because we don't have to do all these things in Java. But then in software industry, in software development thing, this is commonly known problem. So the way, the one way to solve it is to, to make it compulsion for developers to write this, right? Now we got an error. It says think in human is final. Oh, that means this method is also final now if you remember in java if you have a method final it means you cannot override it and by default all the functions or the methods in kotlin are final that means now you guessed it right we have to use a uh, open keyword now when you use open keyword it means that you are allowing someone else to i mean you are allowing someone else to override your method and now as you can see if i run this code Okay, waiting for the output. Yeah, can you see that we got virtual thinking, right? So that's great. So we, we know how to inherit class now and we also know how to achieve method overriding. So this is overriding, right? You have to remember this thing. So by default, all the classes are final. Even if you talk about this alien class, this is final now. If you create a new class here, if you create a new class, which is let's say programmers, and if you try to inherit alien, it will not work because alien is a, is a final class now. If you want to open it, just write a open keyword, right? So this is open. This is an open class, and you have to make sure that you you give a keyword open. Same applies to the method overriding. If you want to do that, you have to keep it open so that anyone else can override it, and then you can print real thinking in, in human. We got virtual thinking in alien. 
So I hope you enjoyed this set. In fact, uh, before going ahead, I, I just want to tell you one more thing. What you can also do is, you can, uh, let's say in, in Java, what normally we do is, uh, let's say if you have two classes, human and alien, we can create a reference of human, something like this. We can say human and we can say h equal to new alien. This is what we do in 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 Java, right? But in, in if you if you see this, we, we are not mentioning the type anywhere, right? How do you mention that this is a human only? Even if you got the implementation from alien, how can you make it human? So what we can do is we can give a colon and we can mention human, right? So if you want to achieve this thing, so we can we can also use colon here. So by co by specifying colon, we are specifying that our intention here is to create a reference of human and object of alien, right? And yeah, that's it. That's how you do you do inheritance uh, inheritance in uh, in Kotlin. So that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll talk about some more concept of object oriented. Uh, till then, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel because there are lots of videos on the way. So thank you so much.